to Fetch the Goodness Bible Study. We're so happy to have Avery here today who's going to lead our Bible studies. Thank you so much for joining and don't forget, I always invite friends to come on to our Bible study too. Okay, Avery. Dear God, um, thank you for being with us and thank you for bringing us together. Amen. Amen. So Avery wanted me to tell you that she's reading from the book of Jonah and her version is a is a shortened version but it's chapter 1 verse 1 through chapter 3 verse 10. I have like three Bibles here because I don't know which one we're using. Well you can pick either any of the versions. That's okay. Pick the one that, okay pick the one that you feel comfortable with. Okay Avery's is, is the children's book version so it's a children's Bible. So sh hers will be probably a little shorter than yours. <laughs> Mine too. Yep, either one that you want to use. I'll use this one. Okay. Jonah and the Big Fish 1 through 10. Chapter 1, verse 1 through chapter 3, verse 10. Jonah was a prophet of God. One day, God told Jonah, go to the big city of Nineveh. Tell them to stop doing bad things. They were doing bad things? Yes, they were. What happens if you ever see people that are being unkind or doing things that aren't nice? Um, I I actually saw it once when we were going skiing. Two boy, one of the boys, and one of the boys was being mean to the other boy. I think he was his friend or brother. Well, what happened? Did you say something to them? Or no. Just, I've seen that happen. In fact, um, can I tell them? Can I tell them about the time I was bad? Well, if you want to. So there was a time when I was bad. Mm-hmm. I did a bad thing, and it wasn't very nice. And and I I realized that I was bad later. And so I said, I'm sorry, God. Will you forgive me? And he did. That was so nice. I love him. Excuse me. I just found the book that you guys were reading, Jonah and the Whale. Perfect. But Jonah ran away. He did not want to go to Nineveh. Instead, he got on a boat to sail across the sea. God sent a big storm to stop Jonah. The sailors on the boat were afraid. They thought the boat was going to sink. Why do you think that happened? Uh, he was being mean, and that, that's why God sent the stone. He ran away from God when he told him to go to Nineveh. So Jonah ran away because he didn't want to do what God was asking him to do? Yeah. Oh. I watched the, like the, mo the show of Jonah of VeggieTales. Yeah? Yeah. And what happened? Yeah. And so, and w they threw him off the boat and he had like a floaty. <laughs> did? I wouldn't want to get thrown off a boat. No. Me neither. Okay, let's see what happened if we keep reading. Anna told the sailors, my God has sent this storm. If you throw me into the water, the sea will become calm again. The sea would become calm? I'm wondering why it would become calm again. Why do you think the, the sea would become calm? Why would the sea become calm again? Um, why would the sea become calm again if they threw Jonah overboard? Because um, he was not doing what God said he was supposed to do. Oh. And he was not listening. He ignored God. Oh, that's not good to ignore God. Yeah, um, I think sometimes he talks to me. Yeah? yeah. But it's whispering. Mm-hmm. Me too. Okay, Avery. So the sailors threw Jonah into the raging sea. Instantly, the sea became calm. Just then, Jonah saw a big fish coming. Gulp, the fish swallowed Jonah. Why do you think the fish ate Jonah? Well, um, he, like, Jesus, 
wanted him to go to Nineveh. So he, he got he got like swallowed by the fish, and then he, he got to Nineveh. That's really good, Kevin. Lyra, what were you gonna say? I think you muted, Lyra. Uh, yeah, I think she's muted. Um, can I tell you something? Well, can we wait? I to actually read the Bible sometimes, like when I'm angry, like Jonah. Yeah, me too. Do you have something to say, Lyra? For three days and nights, Jonah was inside the fish. Pray to God, please forgive him. Then God told the fish to spit Jonah onto the dry land. God told Jonah a second time, go and tell the people of Nineveh to stop doing bad things. So did God give him a second chance? And did he listen at that time? Yes. 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 This time, Jonah obeyed God. The people in Nineveh were sorry for doing bad things. So God forgave. Ah, that's so nice. I'm glad yeah. God forgave Jonah. He Can forgave I tell you something. Yeah. Um, in my Bible, he said it says God spoke to Jonah a second time because he spoke to him a second time and told him to go to Nineveh and give give the people love. I think the king, the king, the king began to see love too. Avery. I really appreciate the Bible study. Are we done for this one? Yes. So what did everybody learn? We learned that he, um, he, like, God forgave Jonah. Avery, what did you learn? I learned that um, God forgives me if I do bad things. Yes. I'm so happy about that, aren't you? Lyra, what about you? That we don't just run away from God. <gasps> wow, that was so good. That's so true. He doesn't want us to run away, does he? Nope. Oh, Lyra, that was very good. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Does somebody want to pray us out? I can. Yes, thank you. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together in this good time to work today and bless those that good time. Amen. Amen. Yay! That was our first Bible study. That's so exciting to me. Thank you so much, Avery, for a wonderful Bible study about Jonah and how God forgives us. I'm so thankful for our Bible studies. Boys and girls, Always remember, fetch the goodness 